Tell us about the film you thought you were going to make when you started this project. Well, it began as a promotional film for a nonprofit out of Los Angeles. And we went to Nepal to film these girls who had gotten the scholarship to go to school in Kathmandu. And so it was through that promotional video that we met our protagonist, Shanta. So going into it, you probably had a narrative arc that you thought this story would follow. Yeah. And, and then what happened? A year um, after meeting her, we got a call um, telling us that Shanta had taken her own life. What were you thinking? Oh, I was, um, I was distraught. I, it was the last thing that we ever imagined. I mean, I was so sure that she was going to make it. Because that's, that when we met her, that's what drew us to her. But she was her determination. What the film is, is how complex her life is, was, um, and how, you know, tuition wasn't going to solve those problems. And it may have made it more complicated. Previously, you must have believed that, uh, you know, money for scholarships for girls in the developing world is the solution. I still think it is the solution. I mean, that's the thing. And, I, and Drawing the Tiger definitely illustrates this, is that education is the key. Everyone in Shanta's family wants to be in school and stay in school. They all want to read and write. So that is still the answer, but it needs to come with the second part, which is like, a, with, you know, social emotional support. That's what Shanta needed. I think something as simple as like meeting on a weekly basis with other girls in her same situation that perhaps came from the village to the city to go to school would have made a huge difference. I feel like Shanta and um, Shanta's mom and I really connected as, as mothers because it was after uh, Shanta died that I was really able to understand, like, you know, being a mom myself. What I hope Giant the Tiger does is to illuminate how complex poverty is so that we can <laughs> do global development better.